Fashion allows you to tell people everything about yourself without opening your mouth. I'd say I got my sense of style from mainly my sister. Her friends were all of the flyest. One day we were going to like the opening of this teen club. <laughs> I bump into her and she's like, what are you wearing? She kind of like reheated my outfit. So we get to this party and now people looking at me like they look at her friends. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm lit. You know what I mean? Once that light bulb hit, it ain't never turn off. There's no place like New York. We've been giving out the sauce since the Dutch settled here. Growing up where I grew up, Ozone Park being right in the crux of Brooklyn and Queens. What's up, Johnny? You good? We got the best and worst of both worlds. Norma! I wonder if I got any mail. Man, we on It's my block. It's my crib. It's the, it's the little house that made me. It has a lot of happiness, but there's a lot of sadness in there, too. Both my parents, unfortunately, ended up going to federal prison. Knowing and understanding the ramifications of that lifestyle at a young age. There is no other end to that course of lifestyle besides grief, pain, struggle. But I was able to learn from their mistakes and I built something that I feel like at least gave them a legacy because some of the things I've done in my career have shifted culture for people from where we from. When I started working under Emery, he was fielding a lot of different opportunities. I was fortunate enough to be able to kind of work on some of his early projects. Puma came back and said, look, let's just bring you all the way in. Hit after hit, man, they got to put you on starting line up. We've been on that journey now five years. I was tasked to take a new approach on motorsport. And signed Mike Towers as the global face of motorsport. He's the first non-driver and he's a Latino. That was one of the hallmark moments at the brand for me, being able to open the doors to an entire new community. I love being able to get off the plane in Miami or Puerto Rico and just see kids in RSXs, and M3, T7s, that's just a vibe. Ideas, designs, they can be timeless when they're tied to the right narrative, when it represents something. You know, it's when it's a movement. You can't talk fashion without talking Clyde, without talking suede. I don't think that you can become iconic if you weren't part of cultural shifts like Puma has been. B-boys and hip hop artists wanted to wear Pumas with fat laces, and Puma's been doing classics better than anybody forever. They've put out things that will never die, things that will resonate with people forever.